Well, yes. I mean, obviously, we're very forward-looking. If you look at the way we built this squad, and it's nice that the journalists have said this, so I don't have to, but it's not just about the players we bought. It's about the players we found. Our scouting department, um, they're really, honestly, the best I've seen in football. Junior Santos from the second division of uh, Japan, uh, Igor Jesus from the Emirates um, on a free transfer. Uh, we see things in players that fit the profile. The profile of Botafogo is smart, technical, fast. Either you're fast with your feet or you're fast with your decisions or you're fast with the ball. And our scouts adhere to those principles and we've been very um, fortunate to have them stay with us and we're already planning to reload heavily for next year. We want to level up this squad every year. People talk about financial fair play. I call it good scouting. We expect to, uh, to really load up for next year. So that's my job. The coach and the players are focused on today. The scouting department, I, we're focused on tomorrow. I mean, obviously this success has come earlier than we expected. Uh, it's amazing to be in uh, both the cup and the uh, championship. I'm still upset that uh, we're not in Copa de Brazil. So, uh, but yeah, it's a big moment. Everybody knows it. I can try and tell you it's not important, but it's important. The players feel it, the coaches feel it, the fans feel it. It's a, a chance at history. Everybody wants that. I think these men are strong, they're excited, but they're also very uh, calm. They're approaching this with uh, humility and uh, discipline. Tonight, I, you know, I get these game plans on my phone from the coach in advance of the game. I have never seen a game plan so well followed, so well taught by the coaches, and so well uh, executed by the players. And so I feel like there's unity right now between the coach and the team, and it's very nice to see. I think I made a joke one time that we're going to kick Flamingo's ass. Everybody laughed at me, and it was a joke. But uh, I'm very happy we've done that. <laughs> so... I don't know. I just wanted to compete against the big teams. I remember this 17-year-old kid. I keep remembering him. It was on my Instagram. First year, he said, come on, gringo. Just give us a team that can compete. And uh, he would send me nice notes, and then he would send me really foul language. And, and I blocked him finally. But I do remember him, and I, that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to compete, and I'm happy we're competing. And uh, I hope to bring a cup to these uh, beautiful people at Botafogo that deserve it. But no, I didn't imagine we'd have this kind of season. His, uh, whenever I see Luis limping, sometimes he's putting on a show for the referee, but tonight I think he felt something. He, he assured me he's in very good shape. He promised me he's okay. So yes, I was worried. Yeah, I mean, I talked to West Ham, but I've talked to four Premier League teams. I've talked to two La Liga teams. I've talked to one German team, but I told him he's, uh, he's focused on the championship. Igor is, uh, he is the prototype of a perfect striker, right? He pivots, he moves, he gets behind the defense, he runs, he's dynamic, he's got finishing skills, and so uh, he's impressed a lot of people, um, and yeah, we have a lot of interest in him. No, I didn't talk to him. Uh, I shook the hands of many players from Bosco as they came off the pitch. Um, he's a great young talent. Um, He's a Vasco player until he's not a Vasco player, so I didn't talk to him. Would you like him? Yes. What's not to like? Wonderful, happy, interesting. Everybody likes Ryan, but uh, obviously we love him. Yes.